whatismonday.com review everything you need to know hey guys welcome back are you looking for a tool that can help you manage your project and organize your sales and contacts with an integrated automation feature well then you might want to know more about monday.com in this video i will let you know what monday is how it works and if it's a great fit for you or your business or organization so let's get into it now you can click the link provided in the description for a sign up for a free account with up to two seats but if you're serious about getting started with project management and using monday.com with its best features i recommend taking a paid plan what exactly is monday.com well, as you guys can see, monday.com is a visual productivity and project management tools. It has different organizational features and organizations can easily manage things like their team members, add task management, customize workflow, as well as track progress of multiple projects at the same time. So you can divide them by workspaces or simply divide each individual workspaces with different folders and boards. Now, monday.com promotes transparency, enabling organizations to see who's assigned to what, and easily managers can see who is doing what type of work and how productive is a employee. Now, the key features of monday.com include making it easy for organizations to get started on their project management, which can be pretty difficult to get started from scratch. So you can simply email members to join the board. This makes it super easy to add all of your new employees and old ones to a particular workspace or board. To make projects managers, you can simply select templates for the project type or create your boards from scratch. Now, monday.com is also a reliable tool for visual planning. It provides multiple options for planning and tracking project progress. Project managers can have an overview of all of their projects simply by clicking on add view and then they can create a summarized view as well. Now, they can also check their calendars, charts, files, Kanban boards, and timeline boards as well. Monday.com enables built-in collaboration tools, so users can have all of their conversations, tools, files, spreadsheets, checklists in one place. Simply by opening up a task, you can monitor all the files, Google Drive links, and more added to it. Now, this eliminates long emails and long email threads because everything that is required for an individual task will be added directly on monday.com. This makes it super easy and efficient for everyone to get started on their work. Monday.com is also downloadable in both Android and iOS phones. And Monday.com can also track sales and contracts through its built-in CRM tools. These CRM tools include lead capture forms, web forms, sales order tracking, pipeline management, monthly urgent tracking as well. So these CRM features allow you to manage all of your business elements directly on one workspace instead of having to go for a different CRM tool. This will make it a whole lot easier for you and your team to manage the overall progress that you have in your business. Now, if we take a look at monday.com, this is one sample workspace that I have created. This is my primary workspace, which can be for your business, and usually you want to name it your business name. So if my business name is Panache, let's say it's called Panache. Now, once you have your business name added, as the workspace name, you can click on these three dots on the left toolbar. From here, you can change icons as well as manage your workspace, which will open up this dashboard. From here, you can track all of your recent boards, all of the members and the permissions different members have. Now, on each individual board, you can categorize in the form of folders. You can see on the left side, I have two different folders. So I have project one and then basic CRM. These are two distinctive folders that I've added in monday.com. Now, on your main workspace, you'll see that you have one main workspace, which is our panache workspace. Now, if you want to add more, you can click on this plus icon over here. From here, you can add boards, docs, new dashboards, or more templates into this individual workspace. However, if you want a different workspace, so if you want to create a new workspace altogether, so all you have to do is click on these three dots over here, and then you can click on add new workspace. 
Once you click on add new workspace, you can name your workspace and you can get started. Now, another great thing about using monday.com is that you can click on browse all workspaces and manage all of your workspaces. So in one workspace, you might be an employee and in another one, you might be a owner. So you will have permissions accordingly. Now we have created our new workspace and we have two options. You will see on your left toolbar, you have the option of add from templates or you can click on start from scratch. Now, if you click on start from scratch, you can simply create empty boards. The monday.com will create a empty board for you and you can get started from here. But if you want to use a template, you can simply delete the empty board. Click on add from templates on the left and you have a very wide variety of templates that you can get started with. Now we're going to start from scratch and use our empty board to get started. Now, as you guys can see, this is our empty board. The board has its name on the top. You can name it whatever is the main focus or goal of this board. Now I'm naming this marketing. Now it's a whole lot easier to categorize boards and folders, especially if you're going to have numerous boards. So if I click on over here on these three dots on my left toolbar, you can see you can rename board and you also have move to folder. So you're going to click on search folder and you can add it in your distinctive folder. Now, if you don't have folders already, then it's very simple and easy to add them as well. So if you easily want to add a new folder to categorize your boards, simply click on the plus icon present on the left side. Then once you click on this icon on the bottom, you have the option for new folder. Click on this option and then a new folder will be created. You can name your folders whatever they are for. So let's say I have a folder for client A and then I want to create a distinctive folder for client B and whatever type of folder you want to create. Let's say maybe I want a sales CRM folder as well like this. So now I have three distinctive folders. Now my marketing board maybe is present in the sales CRM. So I can drag and drop this board underneath that particular folder. So it's going to fall into that category. Now in this way, you can create boards and projects directly under your workspace. So to get started with that, you can click on this plus icon over here and click on new board to create a new board. So to get started with creating new boards in each individual folder, you can click on the three dots present beside that particular folder and you can click on create in folder and then click on new board. Once you click on new board, you can create a new board present within that folder. This board can be anything. It could be marketing, HR, design, sales, CRM, content production, whatever is relevant like this. Now, once you have created your new board, you can get started from scratch or you can even use a template if you choose. Now, this is a default start from scratch template and you can customize this. If you want, you can delete the pre-existing entries and then you can also choose to just work with these and start building off of these. Now, to get started, we have given our board its name. After that, you have different groups within a board. Groups can be defined by the status of a project. You can also customize them by the category of work it is. You can also add different ways to group your information depending on what niche or industry you are in. One group might be for ideas, one might be for approved ideas, one might be for rejected ideas. So you can create groups in that fashion. Now, if you want to create more than two groups, you can scroll down and click on add new group and a new group will be added. Now to customize these groups, you can simply click on the individual group title and then you're going to add your name. Now, after you've added the name for a particular group, you can also click on the color to add a different color. Now our second group can be renamed in the same fashion. And then our third group can also be renamed. Now, in this way, we've renamed our groups and you can add a distinctive color to make it easier for you to categorize information. After creating your groups, you can start adding items. Now, to add a new item, you can click on add item on the bottom. And to customize these default items that are already added, simply click on the item title and then you can rename that item. 
like this. So once you've created a item, you can click on the open icon and then this will provide you all of the updates, any of the files that you have attached, the entire activity log. So when this was created, what kind of changes or edits that have been made. Now, in this way, you can add more information to a particular item as well by adding the person status date. These are the default columns that are created. However, if you want to create more columns, you can click on the right side over here. And then once you click on this plus icon, you will have this box pop up. Now in this box, you can add different types of columns. You have statuses, drop down, date, numbers, people, text, files, formulas, checkboxes, priorities as well. Now, let's say I want to add another people column. I already have a person column, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add assigned to. So this is the task and this is going to be the person that it is assigned to. And maybe I want to add a supervisor like this. So the supervisor can be added here and the person that has been assigned can be added here. Now, using Monday.com is super effective, especially because it is such a visual tool. Now, there is no need for you to learn a lot of complicated softwares to get started with managing your workspace. Users love Monday.com's task creation, management, and prioritization features. It has a great visual interface to understand which step members are on which, which project and what status they are currently present on. Now, there are a few drawbacks of using Monday.com, including the fact that users want a lot more customization when it comes to things like their notifications. Automation roles can be a little complicated for some people to set up as well. Now, nevertheless, Monday.com is a great software, especially for those who are still figuring out how project management tools work. It also helps that each plan on Monday.com has a 14-day free trial. So if we take a look at monday.com and its pricing, you will see that monday.com has a free plan available. However, monday.com offers you a 14 day free trial. Now the free plan only includes three boards, unlimited docs, 200 templates, eight column types, and iOS and Android apps. And the basic plan starts at $8 per seat per month. Then they have their standard plan at $10 per seat per month, the pro, which is the $16 per seat per month, and then the enterprise plan. Now, on the basic plan, you have unlimited free viewers, unlimited items, 5 gigabytes of file storage, prioritized customer support, and you can create one dashboard based on one board. Dashboards are an integral feature if you have a lot of management, because for management, using dashboards to get a visual summary of all of the information present can be very essential. Now, if we take a look at the standard plan, which starts at $10 per seat per month, you have features such as timeline and Gantt views, which can be really effective in time management, calendar views, guest access, as well as 250 automations and integrations. And you can create a dashboard that combines up to five boards. The pro plan, which is $16 per seat per month, includes private boards, chart views, time tracking, formula columns, as well as 25,000 automations and integrations. And you can create a dashboard that combines up to 10 boards. Generally, I do recommend upgrading to a standard or pro plan if you're serious about managing your workload on monday.com. Now, if we take a look at the importance of workspace management or project management, it's very essential because a lot of times if you're just using email as your basic tool for communication within your team, your information can get lost. It can be very difficult to manage time as well as efficiency. Having Monday.com can make your work more efficient. Now, Monday.com has a lot of amazing integration features where you can directly integrate your emails into Monday.com as well, as well as automations, which can be a great way for you to get notified for status changes, for upkeeping on due dates, as well as managing your dependencies. This can also be amazing to hold the responsible person accountable for each individual tasks. 
Now, using Monday.com, one of my favorite things has been using their automations and making sure I get notified. Because whenever a new task is created, you can't always be the first person to view it. And having a automation automatically notify me on my phone, on my email address, that uh, a new task was created or something is nearing its due date, that has been something that can be really effective in making sure work is happening at its appropriate time. Now, another great feature that I personally have loved about Monday is managing my CRM. Having CRM templates can be an effective way to get started with making sure that your workspaces have the necessary tools, the necessary categorizations for you to be able to manage the value of your tasks for you to manage. So it can be really valuable to note how much time you are investing in an individual task, as well as the length, duration, the main handling people and the value of that particular item. So these features are the two top favorite features that I personally have on monday.com. The interface, the CRM, the tools and templates all together can be a great and wonderful visual experience for you to work with. Now, if you want to get started with Monday.com, you can click the link in the description to sign up for a free account with up to two seats. But if you're serious about project management, I recommend using Monday.com with a paid plan because it includes its best features. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.